Paris. So many stars all the way across the board in this one. And here is the team lineups. And it starts with the team cheaters. Johnny Brownlee, the standout there. He has got his act in order in the last six months or so. He has an Olympic gold, silver and bronze. Team Eagles led by uh, Alex Yee, as we mentioned. The team Rhinos, uh, the top pick there. Jake Burt Whistle, I would say. The Scorpions are led by Vince Lewis and three-time world champion Mario Mola. Matt Hauser, again, one to watch there. And the Sharks rounded out the triple mix. We start with the traditional swim, bike and run. 300 metres in the swim, four Ks, four laps of the 1K bike, and then 800 metres twice for the run and we are into the water and there is Vasco Velasa not wearing a wetsuit. Maybe he's the only man not wearing a wetsuit. So if he can hang on in the swim as he immediately looks for someone's feet in the bottom right hand of your screen, then he will pick up a little bit of time and not having to take it off as a little split as they head up to the top end of North Dock. And they're going to come back together because whoever led Velasa out there went a little bit too wide and has to come in it's tough seeing Super League racing athletes in wetsuits. It makes it tough to pick them out in the water. And it's going to be very, very hard on such a tight technical course like this because everybody gets off that pontoon at pretty much an even pace. So you can see much more congestion in the men's race than it was in the women's. Hauser, who comes out of the water first. The owner of the fastest mixed team relay splits in history. Matt Hauser, the Australian, has been stuck in Australia for quite a long time. And he's got the uh, short he's shoot. one of the Scorpions too. And he will get the short shoot, won't he? Out he goes. He's followed so instruction. He Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he picks up the five points, gets the short shoot as well. So points go to the Scorpions team. He gets the short shoot, which is a shortcut to use on the very final run of this race, which is going to pick you up about four or five seconds. So he knows he has that in the back pocket. The top five and picking up the swim points were Matt Hauser taking the five points, Taylor Reed for the Sharks and Jonas Schomburg were your top three who broke away. Uh, and then followed by Vincent Lewis and Kenji Nina. But look at that, three sharks off the front. Jonas Schomburg doing exactly what he does uh, and leading this bike leg. Hayden Wilde in behind him and Taylor Reed as well. So Michelle Dillon, the, uh, the coach of the sharks, will be extremely happy with how it's shaking out just at the moment. Johnny came through from the back here and Johnny's moved this way up from the last lap here being at the back to this lap being in second position. So Johnny's also moving up very well. Matty Hauser is really, really struggling at the back of this group. He saw him come out of that turn, the grimace was on, and that's all because of that man on screen that just went around the corner. Hayden Wild is applying some serious pressure, and the guys at the back now are finding it very, very difficult as they have to accelerate now to, to stay on that wheel in front. And you Hauser's can see Matty Hauser's got a flat tie, I think, at the oh, back. Oh, it's a flat, that's what it is. He looked like he had it's a bit a flat of a flat tie, you're right. And, uh, um, you can see a Hayden as well. His right foot isn't even strapped up in his cycle shoe, so he's only got one shoe strapped on. The other one's kind of just a bit loose, and uh, sometimes you don't even have time to actually get your shoe closed up. So he's putting the hammer down. He's he laying wants down that, some yeah, Look at that. He wants that short shoe. He looks magnificent. He's a lot more confident than we've seen him in Super League racing in the past. His transitions are on point. He's looking to see where he is. He wants to get his short shoe. Helm it off, and he's going to get it. Looks good. Looks good. Hayden Wild does it. He sprints. He looks around, and he gives a little fist bump. He knows he's got the short shoot. Wild, Brownlee, and Lewis at the front. It is so good to have championship racing back. It is so good to have the big names do the job. Kenji Nina and Seth Ryder are there, and Vasco Velasa as well. Shachar Shagib's dropped off the back, and now we've got a group of six men who are going to look to put time into the others in this stage three pursuit start. And there is Vincent Lewis, comes back to the front, and all is right with the world of Super League when Vincent Lewis is at the front of a race. There's points on the line, there's team points on the line here. When they cross the line, five points will go to whoever crosses first, four, three, two, and one. It'll be out of these five. Kenji Nina at the back of this group, Vasco Velasa ahead of him, Hayden Wild ahead of him, Johnny Brownlee, and then Vincent Lewis, the 2020 world champion at the front. Two Olympic medalists from Tokyo behind him. One of the future stars in Vasco Velasa behind him. Two sharks, a scorpion, and a cheetah, and Vincent Lewis, Looks to be overtaken on the outside by Hayden Wild on the right. There's nothing but team points as Vasco Velasa looks to make his way up and it could be a five and a four. They got the points. And they look, they look at each other and they know they're going to do the job and the two Sharks come across the line. So Sharks one and two in stage one. Hayden Wild just across the line ahead of Vasco Velasa. A second back 
to the quality of Jonathan Brownlee and Vincent Lewis. Kenji Nina had a great one. He was five seconds off the lead. Seth Ryder, a further five seconds. Shachar Sagib, Alex Yee, 14 seconds back. Max Studer and the Australian Jake Burt whistle. And they start off for stage two. Now, Wild and Belasa, Brownlee and Vincent are your four who lead at the moment on the cumulative times. From Nina, Ryder, Sagiv, Yee, Studer, Bert Whistle, your top 10. Gordon Benson, Jonas Schomburg's 30 seconds back. Royal, Fabian, Yannick Schaufler, Taylor Reed, who lost a lot of time in the end, 40 seconds after leading early on. Mola, Hauser, Tamas Toth, and Marco van der Stel, one minute. So we could see some eliminations as the best runner in triathlon heads to the front. Super League, not always that kind to Alex Yee because he just doesn't have the time to run through the field in the same way that he does in Olympic distance. He's applying some serious <laughs> pressure here through the streets of London. You've seen that single file running. Hayden Wild move up into second place, but the gaps are starting to open up. He is not waiting around. Alex Yee. You look at Hayden Wild, any move that goes, whether it's on the bike or the run, he covers it. He just loves to be at the front of the racing. He looks controlled. And those two athletes have done, as you said, Will, a lot of running together over the last 12 months in, in some of the biggest races around the world. They seem to find each other on the course. This, this transition is critical. Alex Yee will get through it. Hayden Wild right there, Jake Burtwistle and Vincent Louis knows the danger of those three men getting any time on him. Our top eight covered by six seconds. Yee, Wild, Burtwistle, Lewis Brownlee, Alessandro Fabian, who's had a fantastic run there. Uh, Max Studer, Vasco Velasa, and then a five second gap back to a group, including Sagir, Mola Benson and Kenji Nina. You see Hayden Wild again, he'll go to the front. This group of five is a danger group. You've got isolated riders behind that are going to find it very, very difficult to close in on that gap. It's quite interesting to see uh, Hayden Wild here. He's got his swim cap on under his helmet already. So he's going to save uh, one or two seconds there when he runs, goes out uh, onto, onto the swim off to this bike. It was Velasa that was, that, that's been isolated. He was right running off the shoulder of Alex Yee in that first lap. And he's gone backwards ever since. I think he went too deep in the red. Now he's isolated back there in about seventh position and looks to be going backwards. He needs to find some riders around him to come together and hold this gap to this group of five. Yeah, that's a, one of the big things here with a, with a, with a run to bike. You, you've got to make sure you're in there 100%. If you're just off, a couple of seconds off, you're, you're in big trouble. And there is our group with Jake Bertwistle off the back and Velasa pushing a big gear to get out of that corner with Fabian and Shachar Sagir of Israel. Good to have uh, our first Israeli athlete ever in Super League. As peeling off the front was Wild, who tucks into the back of this group. We now have a group of eight. And two Eagles, it looks like, coming in hot behind it. That's like Seth Ryder. And Max Struder there as and well. Max also Struder, is... yeah. The fact that these gaps are closing, and they're closing quite quickly, means the pace up front's off. You saw Hayden Wild swing off. Alex Yee was on the front. Johnny Brownlee realises, look, no more, no more people getting onto this group. We need to start working and keep the gaps that we open up in that run relevant. So a group of 10 as they come off and they're going to swim their way home in stage two. And there's a big gap back to the second half of the field. So 10 at the front and the time deficits as it stands. In this group, if they all finish together, Wild and Brownlee and Lewis would all start at basically the same time. If they all finish in the big group in the swim, and Vincent they first all in. start in stage three. Yeah, Vincent first in the water. Velasa and Yee and Sagib would all go together oh, in Hayden stage three. First. Hayden straight around him, as we yep. said. As Nailed the weaker it. swimmer, put yourself in the position to make the better swimmers have to swim around you. He had the swim cap on before when, before when he came off the bike, so he didn't have to pull that on, save uh, one or two seconds there. At the moment, it's Lewis, the 2020 world champion, and Brownlee, the three-time Olympic medalist. The experience coming to the fore. That is some talent on screen right there. It doesn't get much better than that. I think that's Wild sitting there in third position. So those three have no time between them. Uh, if they finish in a big group, it's going to be very, very tight coming off uh, into the pursuit start of stage three. And a slip for Lewis, not so for Brownlee. And a little bit of time back, and this is exactly what you called, Macca. 
Wild has been overtaken by Alessandro Fabian there, and there could be a little bit of a gap created for these two heading into stage three. Now, the two of them know that they'll start together, so there's no need to sprint for the line other than to create a bigger gap back to Wild, who will need to do everything he can to make sure the time doesn't disappear too fast. Fabian crosses in fourth from Yee, Velasa, Seth Ryder, and Jake Bertwistle. So stage one and two is done, and here are the start positions for stage three. A couple of big gaps here too. Vincent Lewis will lead off, Jonathan Brownlee just behind, but then seven seconds back from Brownlee is Hayden Wild. And he looks to be probably all on his own there with Velasa as well, 11 seconds back, and a big gap back to Ryder, Yee, and Sagib, 34 seconds back. Jake Bertwistle, Alessandro Fabian, and Max Studer rounds out the top 10. He'll start nearly a minute back. All right, so it's bike first. They've got to run to the bike. They've already got their swimming gear on. It's bike, swim, run, and the staggered start. So, as we said, the time lost in stage one and two is paid for right here. Benson Lewis will go off first, and one second to Jonathan Brownlee. Off they go. Seven seconds wait for Hayden Wild, and he'll go. There he goes in the back, but don't forget, this is the man with the short shoot of the Sharks behind him. Velasa goes, then Ryder will go. He has to wait for another 11 seconds. Then Alex Yee will go behind him, and then 10 seconds to Shachar Sagib. Oh, it hurts, doesn't it? But these two men at the front, will they be joined by Hayden Wild? There he is at the back there. He started eight seconds or seven seconds in arrears. He's not that far now. He's got a monster bike leg. He's moving across. Dun, dun. Oh, uh, he is uh, hunting. Here comes the shark. <laughs> here comes the shark. Yeah, and to have two against one as well, that just shows you how much power he's putting in. And also isolated there is the other shark in Velasa. So Wild's got him. He's got on. Wild is on the back. What a here lap we go. by Hayden Wild. One what of a best lap. Bikers in the, in the field by far. And that, he'll build a lot of confidence from that. And I think Vincent will think, wow, OK. <laughs> because you get that feeling on when you're committed. And the gap still closes. <laughs> you think, oh man, he's he's in form and he's feeling great. Well, Velasa was at four seconds behind Hayden Wild as they started this pursuit. So you can contrast that to the amount of effort that Hayden Wild put in on that first lap to the gap back to, to, to Vasco Velasa. It's huge. Hayden Wild's right 500 plus watts to get across to those oh, two. Oh, it's a couple of thousand watts yeah. going up the corners there. <laughs> amazing, amazing ride. But what I love about the three there on screen is none of them are scared to move to the front and do their turn of work. You find that in a lot of racing, a lot of athletes start to get tactical and think and drop back to save the legs. All three of these athletes are prepared to do their fair share of working. But I think Hayden Wilde seems to be on the front a lot more than the other two. The last are still doing all the work he can to stay on the back of this top three. He's going to need a big swim as well as they come off the bike. Those transitions just so perfect. So difficult to execute when your heart rate is as high as it is. The bikes go in the racks and they go for their last swim of the day and straight out goes Wild. Vince taking a bit of a, he went Vince a bit shortly too. on the inside, I think. Yeah, Vince wants to be yeah. there first and Wild's put himself between him, between him and Brownlee. So that's dangerous for Johnny Brownlee. He has to see him drive to the right, he wants to get over the top of Hayden Wild and take the feet of Vincent Lewis. So this looks like Johnny Brownlee Pushing Hayden Wild to the left to make sure he got on the feet of Vincent Lewis. Good racing by and Johnny Brownlee. And out of the water for the last time. 1.6 kilometres to go in London Super League Triathlon. A little slip from Wild. The last are out behind him. And now it's just all about the run home. The short shoot goes to Hayden Wild. But these two men have been a huge force in Super League since its inception. Running shoes on for the last time. That's the slowest transition from Vincent Louis in quite yeah, a while. Lost him a few seconds yeah. there. Johnny Brownlee out quick. Hayden also struggling a little bit. This is the run for the dough, and Johnny Brownlee's going to love the support. The crowd here is amazing. There is the short shoot. They're going to run back past it now. You can see the short shoot right there, the two yellow poles. Interestingly, and Hayden, maybe that's around a yeah. bit too big, Macca, at this point. Well, interestingly, Hayden didn't take that then to cut that gap in half. 
You know, there you wonder, it is. If, wonder if it was if it was worth taking then to cut that little gap in half to, to be with that just that to get on three, get just on to, to get the on. Deck. Yeah. Because now they're going to work together and open that gap, and whether he takes a short shoot in this next lap, he still could he still could be at a deficit. This is going to be good. We are on for a shootout. This will be brilliant. Well, he announced himself onto the Super League scene and, of course, onto the elite racing scene after a great cross-country and Xterra uh, junior career by winning a sprint with Mario Mola, the then world champion, uh, back in Jersey a couple of years ago. And now Hayden Wild is a real force and he's sitting behind two of the biggest names in world triathlon and there's 800 metres to go for all the biscuits here in London. He's moved past Johnny Brownlee. He saw Vincent Louis and Johnny have a look at the big screen to see where Hayden was. They saw he was on. They know he has a short shoot. And this is really, really difficult, this cobble. You heard Jess Lima say she was going over on ankles. We ran back here to get to the commentary position. It is really difficult underfoot. Here comes a short shoot. Hayden is going to have to take it here, I think, when he comes he's through. Yeah, he's going to take here it. He here goes. we go. Here we go. And Hayden. Now he's going to he's commit. He's into the lead. And that is what the short shoot can do for you. There is the gap. And you, you've got to say that's bigger than the gap than we thought it was going to be. Vince has got a There's sprint. four he's... seconds there, probably. Vince is going to start giving he it everything now. Moving. He's got to give it everything. There's no sitting back now for Vincent Louis. He has to close the gap. They let Hayden Wild, well, they didn't let him. Hayden Wild ran onto him at the back of this that first lap with the short shoot. Vincent is all in. He, can, he gets that rocking running style going. Vince is on he the He is gas. all in. Cadence is up. Cadence is up. He's going for it. It's going to be going to be good to see what happens here. Oh, this is what I've missed about Super League racing. Can Hayden Wild do a Vincent Lewis to Vincent Lewis? And take the short shoot and steal this race. You can see, as you said, Vince is really putting it all in, but so is Hayden. And it looks like we've lost Johnny off the back. And Vasco Velas is trying to track him down. Vince so is Vince go again. He, he just opened going. up that speed again. He's looked back for Johnny, which is not a good sign. Johnny's looking back for, for uh, Vasco as well. Hayden. Oh, He's look at that face. <laughs> Here he goes, Hayden Wild. There's one more turn to go. He's gone up. The incline, I don't think it. they're going to catch him. They're not going to get him from here, and he knows You've it. Got well to love it. You've got the to Falcon. love it. You've got to love it. Look at, look at um, Vince Amazing. in the background. Fully committed. He ran a qualifying 5K time to make the New Zealand Olympic team. Didn't end up getting selected. He's so quick over these distances. Vince is putting in absolutely everything behind him, but it's not going to be enough. The Falcon is going to fly in London. A race win and a round win for Hayden Wild of New Zealand. Wow. What a moment and how much wow. it means to him ahead of Vincent Lewis. Is this a changing of the guard? What a moment. And he's given it absolutely everything, Lewis, to take the silver ahead of Brownlee. But is this the moment we see the torch being passed on? Brilliant racing by Hayden Wild. Tactically smart. Used that short shoot. We questioned whether he should have used it on the first lap. He was confident enough in his run to run onto the back of both Johnny and Vincent. And man, when he went, did he go. Yeah, that could not have been technically any better, I think. That yeah. is perfect. It takes a lot of confidence to do that. You know, the maturity of Hayden Wild over the last four years coming through Super League racing to the young kid that started with us in Jersey to, to winning the championship race in London. What a performance, Olympic bronze medalist. Oh yeah, does it what, Hayden? And here is the top 10, the Falcon. Hayden Wild takes the full 15 championship points and 20,000 US dollars from our incumbent champion, Vincent Lewis. Jonathan Brownlee takes third. So much quality there. Vasco Velasa, a great race for 12 points from Alex Yee. Seth Ryder, Jake Burtwistle, Shachar Sagiv had a great one. Alessandro Fabian and Aaron Royal, your top 10. So off the back of that fantastic women's race, Team Eagles takes 93 points and a big lead into the second round in Munich from the Scorpions who came back there in the men's race. The Sharks, 66, five points back to the Cheetahs and the Rhinos have some work to do. Yeah, well, I gave it everything. It's a uh, super aggression, isn't it? It's hard and uh, you're on a little bit of the back foot from the start after the first swim, but I remember well up there. And then to honest for the whole race, I just followed Vince because uh, this swimming was absolutely incredible. Um, and I tried to hold on there, and that's where we got a big gap, and then yeah, Hayden and Vince were just too strong for me then. Congratulations, Johnny, please take your medal. 
was a hard year um, and I suffered an injury a few a few months ago just before the Olympics. So that was a tough uh, couple of months even with my partner Taylor not being picked for the Olympics. That was uh, that was pretty hard. But uh, yeah, now we're bouncing back and and we into the circus of Super League, uh, getting well since first, since stage one. Uh, I was uh, really going for the win, but Hayden was stronger. He, he managed it really well tactically, getting the short shoot and yeah, he won. Uh, fair play and. Uh, I think, I guess we'd see each other next week. Congratulations, phenomenal racing. Please do take your medal. <laughs> it, was a, it was an awesome feeling, finally getting my first win uh, in the Super League Series. Uh, I know Vinny and Johnny were probably going to be the top contend contenders here and I just had to do all I can with swim and I had two, three fantastic swims for me so uh, I held um, Johnny and Vincent's feet uh, pretty much until about the 125 metre mark and then it fell off a little, the wheels fell off a little bit but other than that real stoked and got that short shoot, that was my tactic to get that short shoot on the bike and, and I sure got that so that was an awesome, awesome feeling and I was looking at the big screen and I just saw Vincent come like a freight train I was like oh, i got to hold on for dear life. <laughs> Caden, congratulations, please take your medal.